I'm not one who asks for help. It's not pride. I just hate to finish. That's over four months. It has been bittersweet. Happy new month, guys. Good morning. What is up, Susie Gang? What's up, Wagwan? What's, what's popping? How are you guys doing? Welcome back to another vlog. I'm sure you could tell that I literally just woke up. This is like past 10 a.m. You guys, I feel down mentally, emotionally, physically, socially, everything. I just feel really down. I don't even know how to explain this, but the major, major reason of this video, or what I'll even be naming the title is content creation isn't paying me so i started a nine to five job or let's say eight to five job you guys i got a new job offer i mentioned in one of my vlogs uh i can't remember i think it's my birthday week trust me if i was making enough from youtube if i was making enough from social media and my business obviously i wouldn't have taken this offer because to be frank, the money is not really up to what I expected, but you know, money is never too small, it's never too much. I just had to just do it and accept it. It is so crazy that I don't even have the intention of telling my friends. It is that bad. I'm not even telling anybody about it because I know that majority of them would question my decisions, like why are you doing such job? Why are you doing this? Let me know where it pay me if social media was really paying me what i expect they you guys i put in so much work to social media and i get a little in return it is so sickening you know, i said i brought enough money from dubai that could sustain me for six months i mean it's almost approaching six months and I've not gotten so much income. The money I got last was from my importation, okay? And importation right now is not going on so smoothly because of the exchange rate. Dollar is going up, RMB is going up. The RAM is also going up. So people find it really difficult to buy stuff from Dubai, buy from China because of this exchange rate and it is affecting my business. Any importer that's telling you that they're making win -win money, trust me. Well, don't let me say don't let me say it because some people are quite lucky but me the dubai part basically because i am not in dubai right now so it's always very difficult to like trust people the last importation i made from dubai i don't know what exactly happened it just affected me mentally because number one the guy got the like he did not get quality of what i wanted and i told him specifically to go to this particular place to get this thing but it could not and my customer wasn't so cool with it i had to pay half of the money back those are the disadvantages of being an importer anyways today is monday and i am starting officially as a sales associate in a company at lucky tomorrow I cannot say I can't wait because I really don't want to do it but due to unsayable circumstances I have to jump on it okay I'm not broke but I am broke my own definition of broke is when I have spent past the amount that I expected more to come in I don't know if that makes sense to you guys but yeah that's the level at which I am right now I don't want to go broke finally so i'd rather do more jobs since social media isn't paying me i've been monetized on youtube since 2019 october and i have not made one penny from youtube like i've literally not even withdrew 100 dollars from youtube so yeah i resume tomorrow i'll be posting the you know waking up early oh god jesus christ so sad so sad <laughs> but yeah it is what it is i am open to collaborations i just need something that would be a breakthrough for me my voice is breaking right now i just need something that would be like a breakthrough for me because i have tried 
even me i know that i've tried is it about consistency i've been consistent on my social media these days like i've not been this consistent like the way i am right now and it's about the money it's about i love what i am doing i love my job i love the fact that i post people you know give me feedbacks comments share some loves and all of that i love that i'm not disputing that but i need the money too i need this money but it's not coming in and i can't just sit back my bike my dispatch bike is out here i'm fixing the other one it's delaying me everything is just getting to me so badly don't tell me no i planned myself because before coming back to nigeria nigeria just had to be nigeria in everything you're doing in this life just pray that nigeria does not happen to you pray that nigeria don't happen to you because bro i would travel i would go out for content i would go to places that i'm not even supposed to go just to create content and at the end of the day i'll be making two dollars from a video that has over two thousand views i'll be making one dollar from a video i'll be making zero point something cents like bro at what point am i going to get to hundred dollars <laughs> $100 is like 100 k right now. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. I just had to do this job. I got my offer later. This is me just updating you guys. Just in case you don't see me post on social media, which is my Instagram, for a while. Because I have to focus on my job. I have six months probation, which if God turns things around for me, I might not be there up to that six months. But let's just see how it goes. Uh, you guys i need all the encouragement all the prayers and everything in between that i can get from you guys right now because i am quite emotional since yesterday i got back to ibadan from sorry i got back to lagos from ife for the Oloja festival yesterday and i've just been so cranky a lot has been happening i'm battling with family i'm battling with this i'm battling with that everything just got to me plus the fact that i am going back to nine to five that i said i wasn't gonna do again it's crazy. I have my own brand. I have my own brand, Absong Limited, and it's registered, fully registered, and my bikes are registered to fully registered, but they are not even working right now. Everything is just... I'm trying not to explode. So, um, yeah, that's the update. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning when I am going to work. Struggling to go to work tomorrow. I can't even imagine me going back to that level, but it is what it is. We have to strive. Why I post all of this on my YouTube is so that I could watch back and see my growth. I know that I have grown so much and I am super happy for where I am right now. Oh, fuck. I don't want to cry. I'm super happy for where I am right now, but you know, life just happens. And the point where you, um, I'm a strong girl. I'm really strong. Okay, we're not doing that here today. No, today. Not today, baby girl. Okay, so the point where um, you do so much for people and you get little in return, that part, like, if I tell you guys that, the money I brought back to Nigeria, I literally spent 80% of that on helping people. I'm not one who asks for help. It's not pride. I just hate to finish. Because I've had encounter of when I was asking for help. Is it that it end up me getting molested sexually or me getting, you know, bullied and all of that. So it kind of weighed me back. I don't know how to ask for help. Which is why I had to jump on this job because I really don't want to go broke. I don't want to get to that point where I have to start, you know, buzzing people that please can you lend me? God forbid that that happens to me. <laughs> God forbid that that happens to me. It's never going to happen to me. I would rather sell pure water on the streets than beg for money from anybody. It is that deep. It is that deep because. People think it's pride, but no, it's not pride. It's just me not knowing how to, not like I don't know how to ask for help, but I just don't want to get to that point where people will be like, ah, but this girl went abroad. Why is she back? And no, I'd rather do the job that I'm not even comfortable doing than asking people for help because people would always have something to say. 
people would always have something to say when i was in dubai people were like i wasn't doing a nine to five i was doing i was working as a as a whore or something which obviously wasn't but how, do, how many people do i want to start explaining that to all because i got a camera which was one point something million i got a phone and you people just think that this money came out of nowhere without me walking my ass off i was literally working for 16 hours but i'm just someone that if i find out that it's not necessary to explain to you i really would not even if you choke me i won't i won't say anything <sighs> it's crazy this has been the craziest how many months i got back um may 20 may 22 and today is october 2nd i think that's may June, July, August, September. That's over four months. It has been bittersweet. And the fact that I don't really have somebody to always rant to because everybody has their own issues that they are battling with. I don't want to be a burden to somebody. So I'd rather just keep it all in. I mean, I have siblings, but everybody is battling with one thing or the other. I'd rather bottle it in. And when you see me outside, you would never know that I am going through shit. You would never ever know. Why? Because I am always laughing. People say I frown a lot. Yes, I frown. If I don't know you, I will definitely frown at you. But if I know you and you're my friend, you would always see me smiling. The only time you see me frown is when I'm hungry and need to eat something. That's the only time. But I'm always laughing. I'm always smiling. Everybody's going through one thing or the other. Now that I have a 9 to 5, <laughs> obviously my parents will not be comfortable with this because now it's going to be very difficult to find a husband. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> now the husband part is so, it's going to be a problem because obviously, when do I have time? I'm more like a PA to the to the um to the CEO of the company. So there's no time, baby. <laughs> Oh my days. Anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I need to wash. I need to just do everything I have to do because I don't know how this week is going to be. It's, it's crazy. If someone had told me that Susan, you're going to do a 9 to 5 again, I'll say it's a lie. But it is what it is. Even Rejoice, when she sees this video, she'll be shocked because I said it. I was never going to do a 9 to 5. I was gonna, never going to do this. But Nigeria has to be Nigeria, baby. You have to just do what you have to do to survive because I don't know how to beg people for something. I, but Nigeria would always be Nigeria. Regardless, I don't think I am leaving this country to go wash some asses in ah. I don't think I'm going to do all that one. I'd rather do it here. Let me, one thing I know is, miracle happens overnight. I don't know. Someone might be watching this video and just be like, oh, Susan, okay, let me do a collab. See, I'm calling out Fanta. Fanta is one brand that I really want to work with. I don't know why I feel that I really want to work with Fanta because if there is one person that loves Fanta a lot, it's me. It's me. Anyway, this is me just trying to make myself feel better. Anyways, um, yeah, I need to wash. I need to, you know, clean up the room. I need to get to a jar to get some, you know, food stuff and some other things that I could keep in the house because obviously I'll be coming back late. Traffic and the likes. Um, yeah, I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, I arrived at the office and this is 6.30 a.m. I'm literally the only one here right now. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, even though it was a mix of emotions. But yeah, I finally resumed here and I'm going to be updating you guys once in a while. I won't be able to use my phone. I won't be stable on social media, but I will try and schedule all my posts. I still have youtube videos to upload obviously i went for the Elogio festival um yeah that's just it basically i'm gonna see you guys in my next one always remember to love what you do do what you love be yourself love yourself and believe in yourself i remember your favorite baby girls is an take care and i'll see you in my next video